I wasn't planning on having you as my roommate. I actually thought that if Bowdoin College knew I had you, they wouldn't let me come to college. So I hadn't mentioned it to anyone. And I um, got a job working at Staples cleaning at night. And I had to take you in with me at work sometimes and hide you in the closet. (laughs) I think I lost something like 27 pounds just from stress and not eating because I didn't have enough for both of us. My basketball teammates were my first babysitters. I just remember coming from class and there were four giant guys and then there was this 18-month-old who was tearing up the room. <laughs> were you ever embarrassed bringing me to class or just uh, having me in general? I felt a little awkward, but never embarrassed. There were times when the only way I could get through was to come in and look at you and see you sleeping and then go back to my studies. And my graduation day from Bowdoin is a day I'll never forget. You know, all of my classmates, they stood up and gave me the only standing ovation. I remember walking up with you and having my head in your shoulder. (laughs) Yeah. The uh, dean called both of our names as he presented us with the diploma. So, technically, I already graduated from college. (laughs) (laughs) Nice try. (laughs) The degree only has my name on it, so you still got to (laughs) go. I really admire your strength. And I love you. (laughs) I draw my strength from you. I always have, and I still do. 